how did you find your victims? I found my victims moving from town to town. Um, I scoped them out on um, school grounds. I scoped them out in Little League Diamonds. Um, I scoped them out in my own backyards, my neighborhoods, and things like that. Um, I worked with people who had younger brothers. I socialized with those people so I could get in touch with their younger brothers and begin the grooming process. And um, eventually, it would take time, but I knew what I was doing. It was all calculated. I mean, this is nothing that happened overnight. You know, I knew, and I planned it all. It started out where I would move from one town to another. When I got located in one town, um, I would, you know, survey the children in the town to see. It was always a small town. It was never a big one. Um, because big towns have big police forces, and big police forces tend not to be very friendly. Small towns have small police forces. You know, they probably never even heard of a child molester or a sex offender or never even had to deal with one. I knew that. At least I played upon that. And um, I got involved in Little League Baseball because I knew from my high school days that I could umpire Little League Baseball. I could umpire baseball. I was good at it. I was good at refereeing basketball and other sports because I could not play worth a crap in high school. But I enjoyed the sport so much that I did not want to not be a part of it. So I took up managing in high school. Then our coaches allowed me to referee intramural. And when I got to referee intramural, that gave me direct access to the younger boys. And that was how my molesting began, was in high school, when I had direct access to the younger boys through the intramural program. 